What's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today your boy has been home for six years from the penitentiary today. That's right, I've been home for six years and I'm happy. Obviously, it's a celebration. I'm gonna get ready. I'm trying to get ready like Mr. Rogers, but it didn't work. And I'm excited, guys. Um, today, we're gonna do a nice little vlog session. We're gonna talk about what it feels like being home after six long years from prison. Let me get in the sunlight because you know, they, I know y'all can't see me right now. It's a beautiful day. Welcome here with Tay. Should turn this into a musical, shouldn't I? <laughs> But that's not about to help and happen. Welcome. Oh man, out of breath already. <laughs> I'm excited, guys. Um, yeah, it's time to get this coffee in my system. Wow, what do we have here? Six punch keys for six years of freedom, but you know my pregnant ass already ate two of them. Apple is on top for you. Wow. Punch keys. That's what's up. I just discovered these punch keys recently and something for fat tuesday and yada 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 but anyways i wanted to vlog today because yes i am home from prison for six years officially like maybe like an hour ago yeah i walked out of those gates your boy was all fresh and stuff okay i was just really not that fresh but i was a free man and i was excited and today i'm gonna actually go live on youtube on both of my channels to celebrate and then in between i will check in with you guys to see exactly what you up to you know um, I'm happy, man. It's been a long journey. Right now, I'm just going to actually relax, chill, because I'm going to treat the day like it's my birthday. Not even going to lie. It's my day. It's my special day. I can do what I want to do. And yeah, what are you going to do about it? You, there's nothing you can do about it. But right now, I'm going to drink this coffee, chill, and I'm going to watch me a movie or something. That's what I'm going to do. Relax, and then I'm going to go live. And before I go live, I'm going to check in with you guys. Um, yeah, coffee, punchki time, and then see you later. So it's lunchtime and Katie's here celebrating my six year, six. six. We're just talking about how last year I celebrated four years on YouTube and now it's our six year. So if you didn't know, I'm a time traveler. <laughs> <laughs> we never claim to be mathematicians. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but this is just lunchtime portion of the day. It's really my breakfast. I'm just <laughs> sitting here doing, not doing what I said I was doing, celebrating. I'm happy. I don't know why. I'm in a good mood. My back's not hurting, even though y'all have no idea why I just made that random comment. Um, yeah. I've been home for six years. What do you think? I think that's a really, really big accomplishment. Six years is a long time. Some people don't even stay at jobs for six years. I know, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't stay. That wasn't meant to be a shot, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but I, it's a true statement. Yeah, I guess should we should I celebrate coming home from prison? It's like, why are you celebrating being a citizen? But f y'all, I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> you know what I'm, I'm gonna celebrate. Second birthday. I treat this day better than my birthday. Katie's gone back to work and I'm here by myself now. Aww. Um, I'm about to go do my thumbnail and everything for my live that I'm about to do for a few hours. And I in found this. Now, my boy's gonna be walking right out of that little building wearing normal clothes for the first time in eight years. Yeah, and I found this video right. that my homeboy took of me when I came home from prison. And you know, it was pretty cool. It's grainy, you really can't see the footage. He must have had like an iPhone two at this point in time, but you know, it's like memories walking out that gate. I remember exactly how I felt like, wow, this moment is finally here and I finally get my freedom or so I thought. Um, just, just because you're locked up, that doesn't mean you don't have freedom mentally, you know? So when we come home, we think that we have all this freedom when we still have to battle with our minds. Like we're still in a mental prison somewhat. And I had no idea that I would be going through the next few years still battling with some things in my mind because I came home from prison. Um, PTSD is a real thing. I don't have like nightmares waking up that I'm in prison all the time. I do have dreams that I'm in prison sometimes, but they're like just regular dreams like I'm in that world. Um, 
and then you wake up and realize you're home obviously you're just like oh, okay it was just a dream but prison can definitely change somebody especially when it comes like the mental how we view other people like you know a lot of people we don't trust people just because you know prison bred that in us like we don't it's hard for us to trust people because when we went to prison a lot of the people that we had on the streets left us and now we can't trust them to like depend on them like they aren't your real friends or and then you have the people who were back there and who were back there in prison who are prisoners who just talk just to get close to you to use you and stuff like that so that's still a mental prison that you have to get through and fight through sometimes and sometimes in life you know it's hard to trust people period like i it's I, there's people that I should trust and that I don't and I don't know I don't know what that's about but um yeah just that's just that's just that's what that is I don't even know why we talked about that but that's where my mind went in this video like I said it's crazy where I am to versus where I was back then and I still don't feel like I'm anywhere close to where I want or need to be still trying to trudge forward and still trying to push forward but um I can slowly say that I'm I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting there. And right now I feel like I'm getting emotional. <laughs> so yeah, let's just, let's just stop recording for a while and I'll see you guys there in a little bit. Fresh out the shower and Izzy tried to scare me. <laughs> what did y'all surprise me with Izzy? With the, with the anniversary of getting out of prison. Hey, six years of freedom. What do you think about prison? It's a dangerous place. Yeah. Would you ever want to go to prison? Never. Exactly. Good answer. Good answer. Smart. <laughs> Thank you for my prison cake. I like cake. You no really matter like what kind it. of cake it is. It's chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got back from dinner. We went to a Chinese restaurant. I don't know why I didn't take my GoPro with me. Um, it was a, pr a good dinner. We we definitely enjoyed our meal. And just wanted to say right here, while Katie's not around, that how appreciative I am of her for her making this day so special. Um, she bought me a cake, which you guys saw earlier, and took me out to dinner. Went to a Chinese restaurant. Just had a nice talk, and just you know, it's just been a good day. You know, just being appreciated or just her trying to make this day feel special for me you know it's just a day that i came home from prison you know and she definitely made it special um so far um, even with me having to blow out some candles here in a little bit like it's my real birthday but um definitely blessed to have her in my life and her and izzy and i look forward to our future with a baby and i'm excited man i don't know what i don't know what the future holds by any means but i'm just happy that you know, I feel like me and her, we're in a place where we can just come together and just do what's best for our child. And I'm lucky, man. I guess that's what I wanted to say. I'm lucky because the way that she just thinks about me and cares about me, you know, like um, just like from the small stuff, like in past videos, like on Valentine's Day, how she just looked out for me and got me a whole Oculus. And just it's like sometimes it's a bunch of small things that can that really matter and to me a lot of small things matter um her effort is it's a beautiful thing man the effort that she's putting into this relationship and yeah man i don't deserve i don't deserve at the end of the day but yeah let me go ahead and um get ready to go cut this cake here in a little bit and I'm enjoying my day. I'm gonna have me a little drinky drink here in a little bit as well because I'm grown, 21 and over, baby. And yeah, just relax, man, because that's what the day's about. Enjoying my life, relaxing and reflecting on doing time, how time sucked and how we can really make it out the dirt and we can become flowers or whatever you wanna be, you know? Because that's where flowers come from. They come from the dirt, so I don't know. See you guys here in a little bit. <laughs>
six years of freedom. Happy six years of freedom. <laughs> Happy six years of freedom. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> mm, thank you. You're welcome. I, you should not have used the butter knife. So this is unplanned. I almost died just now. <laughs> he nearly died from getting out of prison. I don't... No! Not from getting out of prison. It's because he cut himself on... A knife. I don't even know how. I don't know if I turned it around and dropped it. I don't know. Slipped it on All I heard you say was, God damn. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. It made me lightheaded too. Yeah, bro. I'm getting lightheaded again. I'm not sure he survived. 